Man, you you really put me through a lot of hours of uh, extra work. Now it's gone from like three thousand to like thirty one hundred, you know. Anyway, there's just so much wrong with with what you said. If you want to go to your breakfast of champions, which I thought you know for athletes. Slide 22. So I took the, uh, the the totals from the bottom, and but I standardized it for 18 grams of protein because we're just comparing everything percentage-wise. 688 calories. Do you think that people should not eat that meal? Yeah. First of all, it's low protein by like most people's standards. But your standards of protein are much higher. So that would be far off. So that would mean to make up for the rest of the day, you would have to have meals that were like almost just protein, or maybe they'd have to buy the protein powder from your website in order to make that up. You're saying is that as long as you're getting this 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram yeah. of protein, whether yeah. it's lentils or peanut butter <clears throat> or yeah. something, that you have enough amino acids to achieve the desired results. Yeah. And it's essentially the exact same as if you're hitting that 2.2 grams. If you're getting 2.2 grams, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Chris, this has not been that good for your arguments. You said that cattle, uh, there's no evidence of cattle being fed B12. So if you bring up flight 46. Vitamin B12 for sheep and cattle, that's what it says. You said there was no evidence that cattle are given B12. And you said that all my statements were absolutely false. Do you at least admit that you were wrong there? Okay, first of all, when I made the full statement, this is what you first said. That's just all false. That's all just factually wrong. And then later on, you said there's also zero evidence that B12 is fed to cattle. That is flat out wrong. And I have just shown that. Is that yeah. fair? I was wrong about Okay, so we'll get to other points because you were wrong about many other things as well. But so, so, wait, where is the evidence where is the evidence that the 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 what you're essentially <laughs> saying is that we're dealing with B twelve that was in soil and, and water, then in yeah. water and that by the chlorination and filtration systems that we use today that's what's ruining the water and the water and the water does not have well, we, sanit we sanitize water now right. which is a good thing yes but, but that, that also why... takes out the b12 sure so he so that so... makes your statement correct so so he was wrong again <laughs> Can we admit the two things, the yes. two things that we've, you touched on so far, you, you got wrong? Absolutely that it's proven that cattle do receive B12. But let's I, just, let's just I, admit that you made, I, you made I, a mistake. Can you just admit that you made a mistake? You said that I didn't provide a reference, okay? But in the bottom left, where we put all of the references whenever I made a claim about the scientific research, 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. So, so first of all, there's the reference. You claimed you didn't have a reference. Would you admit that you were yeah, wrong? I missed that. Okay. Three times wrong about B12. Your study, your, sorry, your ebook on B12, you basically said, I don't know where you got that study from. Your B12 ebook opens with the exact same study. So can you put up slide 51? Okay, is that your ebook on the left? Yes. That was the opening statement of your B12 yeah. ebook. And you claimed that where you couldn't find the evidence of that study. I no disagreement that B12 deficiency is an issue. I talked about that on my website. Yeah, that's and not what that's e not what you said on the last time you were on Joe's podcast. You said I don't know he didn't provide a reference for that, so it's hard to reject, but it contradicts the evidence. If that's not reflective of the preponderance of evidence, why did you open your ebook with it? It's not okay. I'm not saying the study is bad. But you I'm said that there was no. Let's you, look at all of you the said other. that I didn't provide a reference. But uh, did you do you write your own uh, ebooks, by the way? I do. And you don't remember that study? No. So okay. what is the, what is the question here? If you're not arguing that no, I'm, there's, B12 there's deficiency not a can not, be more is more common in well, vegans I'm, I'm and, pointing out and that you made, vegetarians. I'm pointing out that you because that is what clinically makes the difference. If right. someone is B12 deficient, I get that. then. Then you, they you, think I, you think I'm not prepared to get to that? I will get to that. You said that like the four or five claims that I made about B12 were patently false. I've already pointed out three of the things that you got wrong out of the five. And you are the one that, like, is recommending and telling people what to eat. Not only have you got all the facts wrong so far about B12 of my claims, you said that they were all false, and they weren't false, right? Every claim that I made so far was backed up by science. I didn't... Joe. Come on, <clears throat> I like now. Well, look, listen, I've I'm, come in here. Yeah, I've right? said I've, it already. Yeah. Yeah. No, so I, I just want to make you're, sure. You're correct. Right. So you go on to say three ounces of ninety percent lean ground beef. Well, already what you did is you picked leaner beef. So what you did on your podcast, you admit that. Uh, tablespoon of peanut butter is four grams, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what is f uh, four times five? Twenty. Right. And, ha and then by per USDA, how much is... Uh, one piece of whole wheat bread. Um, four or five, depending on the source you look at. I agree. How many pieces of bread? Two. Yeah. Okay. So five grams of protein in bread. The, the one that I actually have at home is six grams, but... Let's take USDA. Okay. So five, five plus five is, Chris? Ten. 
10. Plus 20 from the peanut butter is? 30. Well, even on the leanest beef that you chose, it was 24 grams. So you take five tablespoons of peanut butter at four grams a piece, that's 20 grams, right? Which is around what beef Two is. Two pieces of bread, 10 so grams. 30. So why did 24 grams of your hand-picked um, lean beef, which you don't even necessarily, you like, there's no reason that you should be picking that when that's not what we showed in the film. Why are you comparing 24 grams to 30 grams? Why didn't you say four tablespoons of peanut butter? Fair enough? Fair enough. Got it wrong again. 18 grams of protein, 410 calories. Do you have an issue with your own meal? No. So do you have an issue with the peanut butter sandwich having 410 calories? No. How, how am I doing, by the way, defending the film? Excellent. Okay. Doing, like, researching for this, I really enjoyed it. Because there were so many flaws. Do you think so I presented if, a good idea? But if it's about amino acids <clears throat> and it's about protein content and digestibility, if what he's saying is correct, then there really is no need to eat meat. Dude. Fuck off, I don't thing. want anything to do with you. Don't ever speak to me again. You're a fucking piece of shit. Even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. Who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, 